Hello, this is Jason again. This is actually part, f I want to say this is part four of this uh, silly, silly laptop here. What I've um, done is um, I've, um, I'll show you here, my old netbook. I pulled out the SSD drive out of that thing. That thing's, um, I think I got it back in like 2009 and it's too slow to use. Um, I put Linux on it because Windows was just too heavy for it. You know, the single core Atom. It just, it, you know, it was just too weak. So I'm going to put a mechanical drive in there and put a smaller version of Linux on there and more stripped down. So what we're doing is the SSD is right there, so 96 gig, and um, hooked up to a USB dock. And, um, you know, this program is called Mini Tool Drive Copy. It's freeware. It doesn't cost anything. You just go to their website and download it. And um, what one of the nicest things about this software is it allow a little. It allows you to move your uh, part your your Windows installation even to a smaller drive. Like let's say your laptop comes with a 500 gig hard drive, and you want to put in a 128 gig SSD. The software will let you do it. Uh, most cloning software only can clone to a bigger drive or the same size drive. And like these Lenovo's we have here at work, um, um, these right here we clone to the same size drive. So it works fine. But when, um, like for instance, my laptop came with a 500 gig drive, I put in a 240 gig SSD in it, and uh, the software we use is Clonezilla, which is best by far cloning software in the world. And, um, but it just has that limitation and it does not like to, it doesn't, it doesn't work right. It, a lot of times the drive gets corrupted. Oh, Firefox went bye bye. So it, 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 it just, um, um, it just has issues. So in this demo here, I'm going to show how to use this piece of software. And I actually have it on a flash drive. So, um, uh, so I'm actually going to go and install it. It's actually pretty straightforward. Um, so um, the hard drive that's in here right now is an 80 gig. I want to see how full it is. Ah, uh, so uh, yeah, not much. So it might take a while. There's 60 gigs of stuff on there. So going over USB, it'll take a little bit. So you just go through install. And then I'm unplug my USB, and then you just run the software. Yes, silly UAC. You always want me to click yes on that. And then once it comes up, so we're gonna go disk to disk. Select your source disk. So choose the disk that you want to copy. I want to copy the internal drive, which is the the, the 75 gig. Next. Uh, choose a disk uh, to copy the source contents to. So a destination drive is this one. It's pretty, yeah, it says other. Ha, ah, funny. My Linux partitions. Um, the data on that disk we just tried. Yeah, of course. Fit partitions to entire disk. Finish. Yes, and then what it's going to do is that's going to create the partitions on the drive, and then but the a lot of the files and um, uh, certain sectors of the disk are going to be locked, so it won't be able to copy them. So it's going to prompt to reboot and do this during um, it'll complete this um, stage during the boot. So. Um, yeah, the mechanical drive in here, I think, is dying so crazy slow. And then once the com um, cloning is complete, there's the restart now. Um, once the cloning is done, I'm going to time it to see how long it takes to boot up with the mechanical drive and with the SSD. And the drive that's in this laptop or the controller, I would say, the hard drive controller is a SATA 1. 
so it's at a 1.5 gigabit uh, gigabit 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 per second the ssd is sat at two so it's three gigabits per second and um so it's going to be um the ssd is only running at half throttle which um is okay i guess it's still got to be 10 times faster than that old mechanical drive so i'm going to pause this and then i'm going to unpause it once it um starts cloning yeah, what's silly is, um, I guess because the laptop hasn't been on in a week or so because the motherboard was shot, it has a bunch of updates it's doing. It's like, oh, I think I should have thought of this before. But oh, well, we live and learn. Okay. And that's what it does when it uh, boots up. And I'm going to let it go. has been changed. Hmm. I didn't change anything. Okay, I'm starting it over because I think the Windows update screwed it up. So, we live and learn. So, I am um, I restarted the clone process here. Um, and I should disconnect it from the internet so I don't um, get updates. So, let's just see if it... Does it properly now? Well, it says shutting down, so I don't think it's installing updates, which is good. I will. I'll pause the the video, and then when I see it coming up, I'll unpause it. So it's coming up. Focus you. Yeah, my camera has a black dot in the top right corner, um, and it's on the inside lens, so I can't clean. I have to take it back, and that black dot's confusing the um, autofocus your disk configuration has been changed okay so that means I cannot use this tool huh. trying it a different way I've plugged it, uh, everything into my uh, desktop but SSD is there the other drives in a USB enclosure in the back so I'm um, not running it from the laptop so my source is gonna be the Hitachi Death Star yeah, I call them Death Stars because they usually they there was a bad run of them back in like 2001 or 2002, and all the Hitachi drives all failed, and everyone called them Death Stars. And um, so, so I'm gonna go from disk that one to the 96 gig. Yes, I'm sure. Fit partitions next. Sure. Uh, you turn off power saving modes. Sure. And then now this is gonna go. And since I'm not copying the boot drive, it's um, not gonna have me reboot and do it during Windows startup. And this is going through USB 2.0 because my hard drive dock is USB 2.0. So it's it's gonna take a while to copy the the 60 gigs that's on that drive through USB. It just takes a while. So, um, and plus that old drive is slow. And, um, so I'm going to pause this and then when it's done, I'll show you, um, um, you know what it does. So hang tight. Okay. So it's been going for like 20 minutes or so. It's still going. So the, um, yeah, so it's going to take a little bit. I'll, um. I'll let you guys know once it gets um, a little bit further. It's probably going to be at least another 40 minutes, maybe even an hour, uh, before it gets, you know, further down. So I'll, unpa I'll, I'll pause it right now, and I'll unpause it once it gets pretty close. Okay, it's been going for about almost an hour, and it's at 97% down there right here. So when that gets a little bit closer, I'll show you guys what it will do. Okay, so it's finishing up, and my silly camera here doesn't want to focus. Come on, get! There we go. Copy disk successfully. Yay! Okay, so what we're going to do, it's okay there, and we're, we is done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the mechanical drive in there, and I'll show you guys how long it takes to uh, post. Yeah! And then I'll do the same thing with the SSD. Okay, what I'm going to do here... Oh. 
on your git. So I'm going to start to stopwatch right when I hit the power button here. So. This is what the mechanical drive here. I ain't fixing that one for you. Huh? I'm not going to fix that one for you. <laughs> Does it actually turn on? Yeah. Oh, you're lucky, dude. Take it apart and clean the motherboard, like with a toothbrush and some distilled water, and get everything off because any little bit, especially sugar, will corrode like crazy. Yeah. Oh, dude. There it goes. So to the desktop, minute and 34 seconds. So yeah, minute 34. I still can't click on the start. So it becomes responsive after a minute and 50 seconds. That's when I click on start menu and it actually does something. So, cool. Um... I'm going to turn it off, put the SSD in there, and we can do the same exact test and see how it performs. Okay, so I got the SSD in here now, and I'm going to hit start, and I hit the power button, so the power button's on. I know I should start this when I see Windows, Windows logo, but I don't care. This is from the time you hit the power button until the time... Windows actually becomes responsive. I don't care about when you see the desktop because that's irrelevant. So. I hit the start menu. It works. So 36 seconds from a minute 50. So it's um, crazy. So that's the power of an SSD drive right there, even in this old school laptop. What I should have done is, um, um, uh, what I'm going to do is also refresh the Windows 7 experience thing. And, oh, I got to do that on, I actually got to plug in the power, uh, power supply. I'm on battery still. So it's craziness. So... Yeah, my battery's been running all day on this thing. Yeah, I'm going to pause it real quick and plug in the AC power, and then I'm going to um, re refresh the Windows thing. Okay, so I reran it, and what I wanted to show you what the uh, old specs were. This is what it what I got with the mechanical drive. I took a screenshot and, and saved it into Paint. And um, the primary hard disk got a 5.3 before, and now it's getting a 6.7, which is pretty darn good. And that's, that's a SATA 1 connection, not even SATA 2. So it's, um, unless I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but it should, um, uh, this, when I got this laptop, it was said it was SATA 150. So that might have been the hard drive, but um, uh, so, so going from a 5.3 to a 6.7 is considerable. That's huge. So, uh, so thank you. I'm going to, um, uh, upload this video now. So please comment on this. Thanks.